Equator Kenya being an agribusiness company, we support our farmers one by ensuring they are organized in formal groups, assisting them acquire certificates so that they can formally be recognized by also the, the government. We also issue trainings. We do capacity building to these groups so that they can adapt good agricultural practices to ensure they can take care of our crop well. Then we engage them in contracts by ensuring that they have ready market for their produce. Kwa majina anaitwa Tunu Emmanuel Saidi. Katika shamba niko na kachachawa ndio mmea wa kwanza wa pili ni mahindi. Teknolojia ya kwanza ninatumia solar water pumps ambayo hiyo na nina ninaweka katika drum maji pale ndio nibebe kwa mitungi ndio nije njaze hapa kwenye drip kit. Hapa kuko na afweni kwa ile uchukuzi. Mara ya kwanza nilikuwa nikibeba kwa kutumia mwili wangu nguvu zangu tayari. Lakini sasa iko na afweni kidogo. Kampuni ya pilipili iko ta Kenya. Tuko na ushirikiano kwa sababu walituletea hili soko la kachachao kari mtaani. The main pillars for collaboration between Kenya Kate... Equator Kenya and the farmers are one, we engage them in contract farming, whereby we assure these farmers that whatever they produce, they have a ready market. Pilipili kwanza tuko na soko tayari, manake huwa tuki lima pilipili, huwa watu wa Equator wanakuja kuchukua. Sasa tumepata encouragement mbaka saizi karibu kila mwanachama na lima. Upande wa amalipo huwa tusumbuani. Huwa tunalipa kila wiki ya pili ya mwezi. Kwa hivyo huwa nangojea tu ikifikia huo ni huwa naona mpesa ni mengizi wa pesa zangu kwa simu. Sija wai kuuliza wala kudai. Manake huwa wananilipo on time. Currently we have already started giving solutions to some of the challenges. For instance, under irrigation, we are undertaking demonstration plots whereby we are training farmers on the use of technologies like polymer whereby water is water consumption is reduced at the farm level and even using cheaper ways of irrigating these farms whereby unlike using the petrol pumps they are we are linking them to companies like sun culture whereby they are offered clean energy whereby they are able to irrigate without incurring a lot of cost 2019 nilinunua pump na ikweta na na sun culture. Sasa hiyo ilinisaidia kidogo ku kwa seedbed, kupanda mbegu, pia kunyunyizia ile ile area ya moja huwa inaninyunyizia vizuri mazao yanakuwa. Hizi chembe chembe za polima naziona zinansaidia. Kwa sababu nikiangalia upande wa polima na upande ambako hatukuweka polima naona tofauti iko kule ambako kuleoka wa polima mimea yake iko tofauti iko na nguvu huko lakini kule ambako haikuwekwa kidogo inafifia kwa hivyo chembe chembe za polima zinasaidia wakulima wameanza kuona hii pilipili ina faida kushinda mahindi mahindi huwa inaisha haraka sasa tumeona pilipili inaenda mwaka mzima na ina, inaleta ma faida kwa family. Iprod has assisted us really because before we had Iprod, before we used Iprod, we were we had challenges with data collection from a data collection and also with the big numbers that are in the field and the few officers that we have, we were not able to capture all these farmers, for instance, when we are to announce for meetings. But currently, with Iprod, we are using short message services to ensure we, we reach our farmers instantly. And also management of these farmers. We are able to do our collection. We are also able to have reports from the farms through our officers through the same application. 
unlike before when we used to use hard copies. This system ya kutumia simu imenisaidia manake kitambo nilikuwa nafuata kulima moja moja nitembee niende kwa fulani kesho tunakutana kesho tunakutana lakini sasa hizi vile tunatumiwa ujumbe kila mtu huwa amejua kwa hivyo tukifika hizo masaa kwa kulima wote tunakutana pamoja bila kusumbuana Many years back my husband had the idea that he wanted to prove that development is possible um, working with smallholder farmers and one way of doing that was by including smallholder farmers in a high value chain um, through a sort of three pillar model um, by basically giving the farmers market certainty through contract farming by providing them extension services and training and then also by linking the farmers to access to finance so they can afford investing in the crop um, so we always thought that this um, three pillar model what happens us to set up a company and this is this is basically how we started Equator Kenya Limited at the end of the day. I think we have been very successful establishing ourselves over all these years at the coast. We have a very good network of stakeholders. We work closely together with the Ministry of Agriculture and there especially with the and with ASDSP. We work very closely with other stakeholders, also with the Ministry of well, the Ministry of Agriculture in the rural areas, and then also the area chiefs, um, so the local administration. We've been very successful in in setting up our company as a reliable partner for the farmers. So if you talk to farmers, farmers will say um, they trust us fully. Um, we work very transparently with the farmers. Um, it's very straightforward. So we stick to our words. We say we come and collect tomorrow, we will come and collect tomorrow. If we say we pay then, then we will pay. Um, we, it's like a partnership with the farmers. Equator Kenya and the ASDSP, our point of convergence is on ABE Chile. We support, ASDSP we support ABE Chile as one of the value chains. Equator Kenya happens to be a buyer and exporter of ABH lease. So we have that point of convergence. And now with that, uh, we have a working relationship that we have developed over almost 80 years now. Whereby, we, as we, we ASDSP, we are not implementers per se. We implement through others, through other value chain actors. And we found the Equator to be strategically positioned to work with us because they have they work with the farmers, they have extension in the field, and also they are they buy the chili, so they have a passion, they have, they have a reason to be involved in the chili in the chili business. We cannot uh, transform agriculture without technology. This is the technology starting from production to marketing and, and all other all other nodes in the value chain. Technology will play a big part. Even issues like disease identification control, we are going the E way, E extension. So we expect in the next 10 years, we'll have technology will play, will, will play a vital role in the commercialization and the transformation of agriculture. The gaps is, uh, is that uh, as much as we have the technologies, adoption is still low in most of those technologies. Our farmers uh, take time to adopt the technologies and they go out to see. They, you know, adult education uh, is, is they, they brief in what they see, not what they hear. So there's low adoption, that's a, a gap. The other gap is that some technologies are with, uh, capital, they require some capital, they're expensive to, to, to bring or to put on place. For example, even those technologies we are talking of the mobile phones and all that, they require you at least to have a headset. For some of the apps, they require even you to have a, a smartphone. So that's, that uh, now the capital out there is a gap. The other gap is the literacy. The next step in terms of technology and agribusiness will be the use of more sophisticated technologies like temperature and moisture uh, sensors that would help farming to be more efficient, cost friendly, and environmentally friendly. I am going to say that 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 I
kwanza na washukuru sana kuleta hii mpango wa pilipili manake umetusaidia sana kama wakulima so in the next 10 years i want to see ikl as a prime supplier of fruit chilies I want the company to be the reference and the address where you can get this premium quality Burrita chilies. In addition, I want to be able to um, provide our farmers with additional markets, so introduce at least two new products. Um, I would love tree crops, also from an environmental point of view, but it needs to make commercial sense for both the company and the farmers. And also be able to market these products then to the international market providing our farmers with inputs, um, making sure that all our farmers have access to irrigation, access to water, but they don't have to walk anymore for kilometers to collect water in jelly bags, uh, jerry cans, and maybe double our farmer base. I think these are the things where I want to see EKL in 10 years. As EKL, we want to grow together with our farmers to turn the Kenyan coast into the prime ABEC producer in the world. Quality comes from the Kenyan coast.